glad to be here, Cash. Always good to be with you. Mr. Mayor, you have been outspoken about the uh, Republican-led Wake County School Board since they have taken over, taken office in 2009. Um, you have told me personally uh, that you felt that uh, uh, some of their actions uh, were divisive, that you felt that their neighborhood schools policy was bad for Wake County, bad for Raleigh specifically, uh, uh, may indeed even hurt uh, uh, the image of Raleigh overall. Um, your thoughts as to last week's election, where Democrats seem to come roaring back, uh, winning for all intent and purposes of five of five seats. We do have a runoff in uh, District 3, Kevin Hill's race, but nonetheless, very impressive uh, what the Democrats did. What are your thoughts about that election and, and what it portends in terms of the kind of change I think you would be more comfortable with on the Wake County School Board? Yeah, well, it really is remarkable, Cash. Uh, of course, there is a runoff, and that's extremely important. I hope everybody who lives in that District 3 uh, does vote on, on November 8th in that race. But I think if you look to Ron Margiata in a especially gerrymandered district for him in southwest Wake County, and his losing that race, not getting majority of, of the vote, that tells you that our citizens, including those in that gerrymandered district in southwest Raleigh, uh, have rejected not only his style of politics, the secret meetings, the rudeness and all that, but also the substance of pushing a divisive issue, bringing in racial parts, uh, you know, trying to allow uh, underperforming schools. All that's been rejected by our citizens, and hopefully we're headed toward a much better day on school board policy where they focus on student achievement and not politics. One last question on that, Mr. Mayor. As you know, I think it's been pretty well documented that uh, something as simple as a school board race now seems to be the target of, of, of national political groups. Uh, the Tea Party, Americans for Prosperity, there's linkage with, with the Koch brothers and, and their money coming in. Does that disturb you that, that, that uh, uh, for whatever reason there seems to be a political force using something as simple as a school board race to try to exert their power and control? Uh, yeah, well, it's certainly unfortunate to have people coming in outside the area, but the good news is the people in Wake County know what's going on. Uh, we're going to take care of that. Uh, people in District 3 are going to make their choice. Uh, they're going to hear from both sides, and even though there is some outside money on one side, uh, but I, I hope they're going to make the right choice. Uh, we can move forward as a community together, or we can get back to this partisan agenda and have someone like John Tedesco be the chair. Uh, and I think that's a pretty clear choice, and hopefully the citizens in District 3 will make the right choice. Congressman, Bye. your thoughts on um, the Democratic victory per the Wake County School Board elections? Well, I was very pleased with the with the outcome. Uh, I've been very disturbed, as, as I know you have been, at what has happened to the Wake County schools. We've had a, one of the world's, one of the nation's best school systems, and we have done it while uh, promoting diversity, uh, if not uh, based expressly on race, on economic diversity, uh, so that you know kids don't go to school with other kids who are just like them, and they come out of school with maybe book learning, but they don't understand the world. Uh, they don't understand their own community. Uh, I think there's a lot to be said for diversity. I'm glad that that, that, that has been promoted as part of one of the objectives of the school system. Uh, and, and also, if you want to make sure that the schools really do even things up for the kids who are starting school behind, uh, I think diversity is, is an important part of that. Also, the, the reality is that if you've got a division of, between rich schools and poor, poor schools, uh, it's going to continue to pull further and further apart because the rich schools are going to have all the support of the folks who've got the most clout behind them. Um, so I'm very pleased at the, the result. Um, I hope it puts us back on track to be uh, to have a uh, nationally recognized school system that gives kids a good education, prepares them for anything that, that they may want for themselves in the future, um, and uh, does support our basic values of making the schools uh, deliver on the promise of equality of opportunity. Congressman, when you hear, however, um, that folks like the Koch brothers and Americans for Prosperity and the Tea Party right. are involved in a local school board election, in this case, Wake County, Right. Um, and, and I guess using it as a petri dish as to how to, in effect, take over all of government, but starting at the local level. Right. Have you seen evidence of that? And if you have, does that concern you? Well, sure. I mean, there was there was uh, ample funding behind the, the right wing takeover behind those candidates uh, two years ago, and in this election as well. We really have to fight back um, through through people, uh, through uh, the folks who are involved in the schools who, who want the schools to, to deliver on the promise of equality of opportunity, to, to promote diversity, to make sure that no kid uh, gets 
short, short change of the education that they deserve, and then to spread that word neighbor to neighbor, uh, coworker to coworker, um, and and that is much more effective politics than the money that the Koch brothers uh, can spend. But but you're right that it, it is almost the case uh, that is that it is no longer uh, true that all politics is local. It, it now has become that all politics is national, including even local school board elections, which used to be decided by PTA moms going door to door.